All right, just uh, a few minutes ago, I told you about Saudi King Salman bin Abdulaziz ordering a reshuffle in the cabinet and some key posts. Uh, from Ontario now, I'm joined by Jason Anruha, who is a political commentator. Jason, uh, this is a big change. I mean, this is a big demotion for uh, Al Jaber. Uh, there is another person now. Uh, what's the reason for this reshuffle? I think that there, the, the definite reason behind this is the fact that the foreign policy for Saudi Arabia has been quite devastated in the last several months. For the longest time, Saudi Arabia has gotten away with all kinds of unethical and, frankly, in many people's views, genocidal actions inside of Yemen. And they've done so with absolute impunity by many of the Western media, the, the imperialist states. But now, all of a sudden, with the death of Jamal Khashoggi, this seems to have been a red line in the eyes of many people. And I think that now there's a great deal of criticism coming at them for it. You know, Congress is uh, going through a vote to condemn Saudi Arabia for its actions and to halt the weapon sales to the country. I think this is primarily due to a foreign policy failure by the Saudi government. Now, whether or not you can really blame the former foreign minister is one thing. I mean, <laughs> Saudi Arabia is always doing all kinds of other, you know, unethical actions. But I think that uh, it, it's it's kind of a case where it all rolls downhill. The the international image of Saudi Arabia has become much more heavily criticized than it has in the past. And I think that they're looking for perhaps someone that can try to, to repair their image in this case, although it's very, really very questionable if that can even be done. And Jason, uh, could we also uh, expect to see uh, some changes in the Saudi foreign policy and its ties, for instance, with uh, regional countries? I think that we can probably definitely look forward to a softer uh, international policy toward uh, particularly the allied countries to Saudi Arabia. I mean, they've got a good deal of will to or a good will to try to repair given the actions that they have carried out and the anger from even their allies that they have engendered towards them due to their actions with Jamal Khashoggi and the, the now the domestic pressure that many of these countries face with uh, with regards to the Saudi war on Yemen. So I think we could probably see maybe some a little bit more f fair trade deals, probably uh, much more diplomatic language, probably uh, more cooperation on certain issues and even concessions by the Saudi government trying to deal with much of the antagonisms that have been uh, mm -hmm. thrown at them as a result of their actions. Right. Appreciate the comments. Political commentator Jason Ruho joined us from Ontario.